What's going on, fam? Van, welcome back to another vlog. It is the RVG fam. My name is Robert, aka ODM. Hey guys, I'm Vanessa, aka the Heine. That's my wife. <laughs> mm. Welcome to the vlog. Sunny If you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button already if you haven't, and turn on that post notification so you uh, get notified every time we upload a brand new vlog. This is, yes, our second Q&A. A lot of you guys have been with us since the early days, and you've been wanting an updated one, and I also think it's time to update because we have new subscribers as yes, well. Yes, exactly. I totally agree. About 50 comments. We were already we were amazed last night. We're going, wow, man. Look at so many people have commented. Y'all want to know about us? <laughs> nice. That's nice of you guys. We're going to give you some juicy details. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe. maybe. And, and mind you, we've only like skimmed through these questions. So let's just get right into it right now. These were basically taken off our Instagram, the RBG fam. Please follow if you haven't already. And um, let's go ahead and get into it. Mommy Honey asks, how did you meet the Us Always fam and the Aguilars? Wow, that was like the first question you guys asked. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, um, I got in touch with Maria a long time ago, you guys, when we kind of first started vlogging. I think we had maybe like a thousand subs. I think they're around like 15,000. And I was hoping uh, maybe we can try to link up. I just kind of took a chance. Like you never know um, with other subscribers, it's always good to collab. And we were trying to hopefully get a collab and she was super, super sweet, super cool right off yeah. bat. He got in touch with Bo and we obviously have just been vibing, communicating, texting, conversating. Um, since then, it's been about a year and a half. And um, finally with Serenity's birthday, we were able to finally meet. That was literally the first time yeah. we met we met even though we did communicate before that mm -hmm. and um, after that is when we actually met the Aguilars we met Nestor and Candy and the kids at uh, Serenity's birthday party yep. and just kind of linked up after that and it's so cool Bo has been 100 since day one dude I love that dude man and the whole family for sure yes so, yes uh, they're all amazing it's been an amazing ride as well because uh, they're like YouTube slubs for me <laughs> uh, totally man we're fans man we're in their world you know what I'm saying <laughs> Next one is Diz <laughs> underscore GT. She says, new sub and, and following on social media. I'm still watching some of the older vlogs, but I wanted to know what has been the hardest thing about putting your life, um, your family, little ones on social media. Um, how do you deal with negative people, family, friends, subs? Because we all know some people always have something bad to say. I think it's very new to us with our kids just because of the amount of subscribers that we have gained recently. Mm -hmm. I honestly think everyone has their own opinion and they're obviously going to say what they want to say. No matter what, we love our kids and, and there's really nothing we can do about it. Yeah. And it sucks that there are people that do have to comment negatively and do have bad stuff to say. Let's not forget about the trollers either. There's trolls that just purposely, that is their job to wake up and go on people's channels and just talk negative about it. Matter of fact, we had a situation, somebody came after Layla. I'm not gonna repeat what they said, yeah. but it was just kind of like, you know, oh man, how does she take it? And she's actually the one that read it, brought it to Vanessa. She did, she found it, she brought it to my attention. She's like, mom, I don't care about this stuff. It doesn't um, upset me at all. As you know, me, it, it, it kind of broke my heart. Like, I just hate that people have to say Yeah, you don't want to people talking about your kids comments. like that, your loved ones. It's, it's really sad. She, she's such a strong-willed person and it, and it doesn't bother her. And I'm happy that she's like that, but it, it did hurt me. I obviously didn't say anything back because the more attention you give to those negative people, the more they, they feed into it. So exactly. we just got to let it go. We ignore the negative and focus on the positive. And whatever yeah. you guys write, that's what we go after. We aim to. Because we're a positive family. Yep. Green Fan Bam asks, how did you guys meet? And what encouraged you guys to start a YouTube channel? Uh, we do actually have a video. It's uh, one of our original videos uh, on our first Q&A. Mm -hmm. Actually, we had to answer some of it. But just briefly, yeah. I was uh, invited to DJ <laughs> her dad's Halloween party one year. I was in, introduced by her cousin Darlene mm -hmm. to the family. So I said, "Yeah, man, I'm cool. I'm, I'm, I, you know, I'm open that date." So I ended up DJing at his party, and there's where I met Vanessa and the rest of the family. And man, <laughs> I just laid, laid eyes on her. I was like, "Damn, girl, <laughs> you could be my future hein." <laughs> but uh, she was already taken at the time. But it was cool. We still kept ties with each other. And a year later, we ended up reconnecting. Um, he stalked me, guys. Soccer. I did. Legit. 
on I the did. DMs. In okay. fact, we got that video. It's like our main video, believe it or not, I believe on our, on our homepage when you go to it's our... It's our first Q&A. So if you want to hear like more details on that, because it is kind of a long yeah. story, go check out that Yeah, blog. I'll put the link either down there or up here. <laughs> up there. <laughs> um, Alfred 818, how did you handle when DWTX passed and what exactly happened to him? If you don't mind me asking, much love. Um, that's my partner from Lighter Shade of Brown. As you know, or if you don't know, if you're a fan, Bobby, he had obviously a situation with alcohol and we all kind of watched him, you know, uh, deteriorate, believe it or not. And it was years coming. Uh, it was sad to see him go the way he went. You guys don't know the story. It happened in Vegas and he was basically found on the streets, passed out. They brought him to the hospital and he was a John Doe. He didn't have his wallet on him and luckily, he was he had his phone on him and the nurse was able to charge it and, and get in contact with his mom and his mom reached out to me and there's where we were able to go go uh, meet with Bobby but it was very unfortunate much love to him we still keep his music in our in our shows come see us come see our shows you'll see we pay tribute to him and he's definitely a big part of our group we're definitely yes. missing him you know he's a funny guy to be around yeah and, very very funny you and guys one thing i gotta let you know and i just true story about my son elijah the minute that i threw a hat on elijah and this was maybe six months ago seven yeah. months ago i put it on like this and my son two years old goes no daddy i want to wear it like this like bobby kid you not right babe? yes and and it's not like he had ever really spent any time with Bobby to know that right you know really who he is or, or how he wears his hat Never he met, met him, him once once and he was six months old it shocked us we're like wow it, it, almost like he knew him like right. he was talking to him it was crazy uh, YD underscore Issa says greetings from Santa Maria hey, hey California how was your family handling the pressure of having all these new followers 20,000 <laughs> plus love that you guys keep it real you guys, I told Robert like a couple days ago, I'm nervous. It makes me really nervous. He's, you know, obviously Robert's <laughs> used to a lot of fans and, and all this love and, and hate, if you want to say it, you know, because it, it goes both ways. And I'm definitely not used to it. Um, it makes me nervous and, and it's kind of scary, but at the same time, it is a, it's a good feeling because you feel like accomplished. Like we kind of have gotten somewhere. Melmo89 says, my question is for the hyena. I'm a single <laughs> mother of two and I find it hard to date. So my question would be, how did you know Robert was the one? When we first started talking, I honestly like didn't really ever go on like dates or anything. I've never been actually taken out on a date. He's the first person to ever take me on a date. It, you guys, it's just weird. The moment that we just sat down at dinner and we started talking, getting to know each other. My whole perspective on him, on him just really changed because I didn't really know much about him. I honestly just knew he was a DJ from KGGI. I didn't know he was ODM. I didn't know he was in Lighter Shade of Brown. But I, I think maybe the fact that you were older, you seemed a lot more mature. Like you, you knew, just had to handle things. <laughs> it did take a while. But I'm still a kid at heart. Yes, I'm still 25. He is. And that's why I love him the most. Because um, he acts like he's 25, but at the same time, he does know how to take care of his family. And he's just loving, he's responsible. And that's yeah, just. Babe. And I was looking for somebody that I knew that would be obviously a good stepdad to my daughter. So. Which is the next question she has. Memo also says, How did you both adapt to you having Layla? I knew that was part of the package, you know, yeah. and every man, they say, uh, it takes a man to step up and, and take that responsibility. But I just feel like I'm a dad in her life. You know, I watch over her and I love her just as much as I love Eliza. It wouldn't be no RVG fan without them. Um, yeah, it's a little bit of a challenge because I met Layla when she was seven, you know, or six. Six, seven. Six or, and a half. Yeah. And, you know, yeah. she already, it took time for her to get used to me. It did. But I think, and I'm going to say this, you lead by example, you lead by your actions. I don't sit there and say, oh, you know, this is what I'm going to do for you. You just do it. You just do what you gotta do as a husband and as a father and as one that holds down a household. And enough said, man, the rest just comes easy. The love will come, trust me. The love is there. <laughs> so Trisha underscore and underscore family underscore um, asks, my question is, are you guys planning on having a baby? The first one, I want a baby. I feel like uh, Elijah needs somebody close in age. He's three. Uh, I feel like hopefully in the next year or so, you know, it, it has to happen because I don't want them to be too far apart. Her and him and Layla are what? Ten years apart. A baby girl, preferably. Me, I'm like in the middle. But at the same time, I know that my husband 
waited a long time to have kids and get married. Technically, he has one kid. Layla is the stepdaughter. I feel like he only deserves, you know, one more kid. He's a great dad and a great husband. So I told him maybe at the end of the year we can try. <laughs> <laughs> As you guys know, we did have two miscarriages a little after Elijah was born so that kind of took a little a little toll on me and my body emotionally and physically mm -hmm. so um, I think just kind of giving it time was definitely good within God's hands I think one of you guys mentioned that you just leave it up to God it's yeah. always up to God we're just here for the ride man yeah. and uh, we play the cards as they come shout outs to uh, Alex Barreras says Robert how you know that she was the one Vanessa how you know he was the one I think we addressed that. Kind of. How did you know earlier. I was the one, though? Because I said I knew how you were the one. Honestly, after our first dinner, she was really cool, really humble. I saw the background she came from already just by DJing her dad's party a year prior to that. Uh, I knew she was a good person. You could just tell, man. I, I, I could read people. It's just I already know. You know, I've been around a lot of people to, to know that, fake and real. And she was just genuine. You could tell. She wasn't all up wild girl up in the clubs. Or <laughs> Here's a woman who goes to work. He doesn't she, know. Just kidding. She, uh, <laughs> She goes to work, she saves lives for a living, she's a respiratory therapist, and at the end of the day, she comes home and she's a mom, you know, and, and a good mom at that. So that's what I was looking, that's what was missing in my uh, life, and uh, she ended up filling that void, so I already knew. I just said, look, give me a year, though, because she was already hinting. She's like, what's up? She wanted to marry me after four months. I was like, what? I was like, look, give us a year, I promise you. And then if we feel the same about each other. I just year, knew he was the one, you guys. I just knew. Underscore Brenda02 underscore says, who's the clumsiest out of you two? <laughs> or the grumpiest? Clumsiest? <laughs> That's me, for sure. She saw, sometimes I go, really, man? <laughs> She'll do a little dance after her clumsiness. Like, she got a whole rude dance routine to her clumsiness. Like, it's hilarious. Grumpiest? I would you? say me. I, I think I am out of the out of the two. I mean, she has a little grumpy side of her, but I think me because I I'm just overwhelmed with work sometimes, and uh, I think yours is more anxiety. Yeah, mine is. She gets anxiety like I get like, like just tomorrow. like worked up and. Which is another reason why she probably. Which didn't is probably have why he gets grumpy. <laughs> which is I, yeah. it's, we feed off that energy. Yeah. So. But at the end of the day, we love each other and we never go to bed upset with each other. Nah, man, never. Except if I'm passed out on the couch and she's upstairs. <laughs> Yvette Noriega makeup say, underscore makeup says, is it hard living in the IE since most YouTube events and people live in LA? Any advice on starting a blog channel? Um, it's not hard. I mean, it goes back to when I was an artist or, you know, performing and, and, and really active with my group. Everything was in LA too. Our record label was in LA, yeah. our managers, our accountants. And I mean, it's it, not far. It, LA is like 45 minutes from us. Yeah, so if we ever need day. to go, yeah, if we ever need to go out there for anything or travel anywhere we're we're good we love to travel i will say this though i mean yeah you're right a lot of the events do take place but that's what social media is for and we're lucky to have that in this day and age uh, we didn't 20 years ago back back then it was just a phone call or maybe an email i think we manage I yeah mean, definitely for the most part and starting out your youtube channel find your niche yes okay we what i mean by that is is we're a family channel. We're a family That's channel. That's our kind of niche thing, you know. We know we want to target other families, you know, who can relate to us, yeah. you know, who have children or, or, or maybe parent getaways or whatever, what it's like to finally get that parent getaway. Maybe you want to do like cooking, you can have a whole cooking blog, or maybe you do crafting, you can just do crafting or yep. gardening, anything that Everything. you're, whatever you're good at or whatever you want to show people and I would just say don't you don't have to go out and get yourself an expensive camera right away we started with an phone, iPhone guys. use whatever little phone you got yeah and just you know practice a couple times in the mirror there you, or, go. you know or just play it back and then see how you look and hey you'll never know until you try and you throw it up and, and don't and don't be hard on yourself like sometimes I watch myself back I'm like oh my god I'm so dumb but people people That's love real. watching it and it's real all right, and last question. A lot of the subscribers, at least five or six of them on our Instagram are asking, are we really gonna do something, or if we are, when, to invite the fan bam out for a little party? Like a meet and greet. Meet and greets we could do, but we wanna do something big. And We've never discussed really anything about having anything at our house or a, a meet and greet. Um, I absolutely think in the future it was some it is something that we can do, but it would definitely take a lot of planning and, yeah. and thinking. Obviously we can't invite all of our 20K subscribers as we would love to. Yeah. We're not the Ace family, we can't put them in the Staples Center because <laughs> no. they're not that big yet. Uh, 
But I will say, you know, a nice intimate setting, maybe a dinner or something at a restaurant. Maybe you guys choose below. Uh, if you're from the area, if, if you're not from the area, maybe if you're willing to drive down, you know what I'm saying? Very soon. I think it's, it's time to start putting it together, especially now that our subs are up. Uh, who knows? Maybe we'll, we'll have it here. And I know I've said it in the past, but I mean, coming to your home is really personal. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I said it. But man, like, how many of y'all can we really trust? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, some of you guys be respectful, but I don't know who you are. I don't know. <laughs> Sooner than later, though. And that's it, fam fam. Hopefully, we answered a lot of your Q and A's. We thank you guys, and we won't wait until the uh, next one. To, you know, for it to be so long, we won't let time pass. But we do have breaking news. Done it. I just got the text message. It is confirmed that my cousin Shailene and Oscar have welcomed three. Their third baby girl. Hey. That's like the same announcement every month for your family, man. Damn, they got a baby. Another baby was born. Another <laughs> baby was born. Baby number two. Baby number three. Dude, there's a birth three birthdays in one week. This week? Like Say seriously. It. Today, Sadie's birthday. Happy birthday to you, Sadie. Happy we birthday, love you Sadie. so much. And then the new baby girl is born on your birthday. Abby's birthday is this week. Happy birthday. Val's birthday. Happy birthday. Layla is next week. Ryan's next week. Pops is next week. Happy See? June B days. Right. We love you, fam. It's never ending. I told her let's just have one big party at the end of the year just for all the birthdays in her family. But that's like Christmas. True, true. <laughs> all right, guys. And our post notification for this vlog goes to Tina Sarmiento. Sarmiento of Washington State. Wanted to make sure wow. I said that right. So much love to Washington. If you want a post notification shout out. All you guys got to do is one, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Two, hit that little bell button so that by every time we post, you guys will get notified. And when you're done, just comment down below. Hashtag done. That's it. We love you guys, man. Have yourself a great day, night, morning, afternoon, weekend. Peace. We love you guys.